Hello, friends. Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to you about this. The boat people. There they are. Boat people. We don't like the boat people in this country. We're scared of the boat people, terrified of the boat people, shit scared of the boat people. We don't like the helicopter people either, but the boat people, they're the worst ones. <laughs> terrified! Wasn't well, always like this, right? We used to advertise ourselves in refugee camps in Europe in the 40s. This is true. We used to advertise ourselves with posters proclaiming Australia to be the land of tomorrow. Now, I don't know who designed this poster. I assume it was a gay man on acid. <laughs> Certainly describes the Australia I know, where all our horses do the Charleston. <laughs> and all our tractors are driven by lesbians. There we are. <laughs> We're paranoid. Paranoid about the boat people, and that paranoia has made us, as a nation, do some crazy shit. Last year, we found out the government made this, Journey, okay? It was a telly movie designed to deter people from coming here by boat. It was screened in the Middle East, cost us $6 million, was commissioned by the Australian Customs and Border Protection Service, which is very annoying. I've been sending them scripts for years. <laughs> Custom cops, border boys, boat people got talent. Let's <laughs> fix an inspection. Your home is away. <laughs> Fuck off, we're full frontal. Nothing! <laughs> There's a story of a gay guy coming to Australia to seek asylum. He'd be killed for being gay in his home country, and he had to go before the Refugee Review Tribunal in order to prove that he really was gay. They asked him to name off the top of his head five Madonna songs. <laughs> That's the rigorous system! Five, which is a high bar, by the way. I'm a gay Australian born and raised. I couldn't name you five minutes. I'm not of time to listen to five minutes songs. I'm too busy sucking cock, right? What are we doing? <laughs> right now, every straight man in the room and at home is searching his brain to see if he can find the name of five Madonna songs. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's the test! <laughs> Michael Virgin, like a prayer, rave light, express yourself, jump. Oh, fuck, I'm a poor fuck! <laughs> Just paid off the wedding. This is bullshit. <laughs> Fear of the boat people has brought us this, the Australian Border Force, and I hate the Australian Border Force, ladies and gentlemen. I hate the Australian Border Force, mainly because they have twice as many Facebook likes as I do. Really? <laughs> really, Australia? You like me less than a proto-fascist paramilitary goon squad? Come on! <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'm crushing them on Twitter. It's fine. Now... <laughs> Thank you. Well, deserved. Deserved. Border Force, headed up by this man, Roman Quaid League. Can't get more Aussie than Quave League. Sorry, that's not a name. That's something you make up when you have a shit hand at Scrabble. That's what that is. Yeah. Oh, oh I like to Quave League with my friends. Yeah. That's some Star Trek shit. Behold, I am Roman from Quave League 7. <laughs> well, that's just me. <laughs> then, of course, there's a man at the top, ladies and gentlemen, the, the man in charge of it all, our leader in these uncertain times, Minister for Immigration, Peter Dutton. There he is. Welcome <laughs> good, Pete. A man who said that refugees are illiterate and inurate people who are coming to Australia to both steal Australian jobs and languish in unemployment queues, which you have to admit, it's a pretty impressive multitasking. <laughs> well, I can't read or write, but I've got a full-time job that I need to leave early to get down to Centrelink. Oh, I'm such a busy refugee. <laughs> who doesn't seem to like the idea of immigration. It's, insane. it's like having a misogynist as a minister for women. It's not. <laughs> oh, I went there. Look, the truth is, people become boat people when they run out of options. They have to move to get away from bad shit. That's what living creatures do, right? Salmon swim upstream. Squirrels go water skiing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes chihuahuas go scuba diving. Yes. <laughs> People get on these leaky, dangerous boats when they have no other option. Because the way that you leave a place is indicative of how shit the place is. In 2009, the project sent me to the Gold Coast to cover schoolies for an entire weekend. And at the end of that 48 hours, if I was told I had to stay for a second longer, I would have happily tied my own head to the back of a Comanchero's motorcycle and have him drag me naked, face first, down the M1 if it meant I could escape that festering hellhole of wasted privilege. I would have sucked off Warwick Cap for a wet and wild if that's what it took, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. Sort it out, Australia. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.